Welcome to another broadcast right here live with us on Facebook. And we, we're very uh, glad that everyone is able to come in and join us today. And we have an exciting uh, message for the, the for you today. Uh, and and we, we are glad to be back on. And uh, I'm still in, in my healing process. And I thank everyone that been praying for me and and lifting me up uh and and but we we're we're here again another two weeks amen uh we'll be here tonight today i mean and then we'll be back on thursday amen for our biblical education and learning with a new series amen amen i'm I, i'll tell you a little bit more about that later but again uh um uh, we're excited this morning to be with you, to to bring you another uh, uh, spirit-filled, packed message that the Lord has blessed us to share with you. Amen. Uh, and we just want to give a little more time for everyone to to log in, to get in. Amen. On our Facebook live presentation. Amen. So, uh, and 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 we're we're glad today. Amen. Um, let's have a word of prayer. Eternal God, we are grateful today. and We thank you for waking us this morning. And we know that this day wasn't promised to us because of your grace and your mercy. Uh, you have given us the, the ability to live, move, and have our being in you. And Lord, we say thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to Bless the sick, bless those that have lost loved ones, amen. And, and Lord, we ask that you strengthen the families and strengthen us right now in this time of need. Uh, uh, we ask you, Lord, that uh, as you speak through us and speak for us, that your words will, will flow freely from my lips. Then, Lord, I ask you that you allow and let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart to be acceptable in, in thy sight, for you are my strength and you are my redeemer. And I give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We're very grateful this morning uh, to bring you another, another uh, spirit-filled message. Amen. I want to call your attention. We're going to be going through some scriptures because y'all know that I always say the uh I give you the scripture so when nobody say the Miller said. Amen. Uh first John chapter four, verses one through four, and second John uh uh seven verses seven and five, amen. Because uh, one, no uh it, it only it only have one chapter in second John, amen. Amen. And and we're gonna talk to you today, amen. We're gonna talk to you today about uh um with with in, entitled, uh, don't let the devil trick or deceive you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna give you two versions of the reading. Amen. Uh, because uh, some people are still having uh, are still having problem understanding what King James version is saying. So I'm gonna also give you a God's word translation of the Bible. Amen. So you can, so everyone can uh, get a full understanding of what this, where this lesson is coming from. In 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 First uh, John chapter one verse four, I mean, uh, chapter four verse one. Amen. Said, believe, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone into the world. Hereby, ye. Hereby ye you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus is come in the flesh 
is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit that Antichrist of Christ. Amen. Whereof you have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. Verse 4. Ye are the children of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Now let's go to the God's Word translation and see how, how they have a phrase for us. And it goes like this in verse 1. Dear friends, don't believe all the people who say they have the Spirit. Instead, test them. Come on, somebody. See whether the Spirit they have is from God, because there are many false prophets in the world. This is how you can recognize God's spirit. Every person who declares that Jesus Christ has come as, as a human has the spirit that is from God. But every person who does not declare that Jesus has come as a human has a, has a spirit that isn't from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist that you have heard come is coming. That spirit is already in the world. Now, verse number four, dear children, you belong to God. So you have won the victory over these people because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. So, so, so again, we want to talk to you this morning very briefly uh, uh, on the subject. Don't let the devil trick or deceive you. Amen. Uh, and the thing about it is, the thing about it is, uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, when we look at this here, the Apostle John, I'll just give you a little information. The Apostle John wrote these letters. Amen. Uh, 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 that's John, the son of Zebedee, amen, uh, also, call, also called and known as the disciple whom Jesus loved. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, John is the author of the gospel, according to St. John, and the revelation of St. John, the divine, amen. These three letters were written toward the end of his life in Ephesus. Okay, and published as communication on the principles and values of Christianity in doctrine and, and practice to guard against erroneous and, uh, and corrupt and un unholy beliefs, unholy principles, unholy practices, and especially to those, amen, amen, uh, especially to to lower the Godhead of Jesus Christ, amen, uh, or to lower the reality of Jesus Christ uh, and, and lower the power of the suffering and the death of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. These letters are designed to, to stir up all who profess to know Jesus. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, stir up is this letter. These letters are designed to stir up all who have have ha, have a, a common uh, who who have common uh, common with him, or uh, uh, who have spiritual union with him, or who have in, intimacy with him, and have a relation with him. Come on, somebody. Uh, the, uh, uh, these letters are designed uh, to stir up all believers in Jesus Christ. So that we, that that we walk in God's holiness and not in sin, Amen. Uh, showing a, a plain, eternal, external profession is nothing, yeah, Amen. Uh, uh, without the proof of a holy life and conduct, co continuing in the truth and carefully preventing the the false impression, Amen. Of false teachers, come on, somebody. Let me say that again. 
uh, 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 is, is, is showing a plain external, external profession. Showing a plain external profession is nothing without the proof of a holy life and conduct continuing in the truth and carefully preventing the false impression of false of false teachers. Uh, uh, because there are a lot of people in the world who, who are not real. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Jesus called them false False believers, Amen. Uh, 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 this and this message is much needed today, because and 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 we we can be, and we can't believe everything we hear. Remember, I always say in, uh, uh, in my biblical education in, in my biblical education classes that a pair of lips can say anything. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, 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 and, and the reason is we, the ministers of God. Are usually under uh, are misunderstood, we are misheard, or we're mistaken about what we believe, and because the the and, and because of the confusion, listen to this: politicians or elected officials win elections, uh, uh, advertising and marketing, uh, 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 publicity, uh, uh, sales products. Uh, broadcasting and promoting uh, uh, and communications sales products. Lord, Heaven, and Holy Ghost. Charismatic or uh, uh, compelling or exciting or uh, appealing leaders build large followings. Uh, and reporters and journalists, amen, mold or create or shape public opinion. And, and, and many, even, even many of the ideas printed, shown, taught and communicated are not true. Amen. Uh, and it's important to make sure every message you hear, amen, is from God. Amen. And how do we do that, Pastor? I'm glad you asked. Uh, we have to examine and we have to verify and we have to confirm the words with what God says in the Bible. And investigate, amen, and examine, amen, dedications to, to the body of believers, uh, 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 investigate and examine responsibilities uh, to to the re, to the body of believers. Come on, somebody, you have to investigate and, and examine the, the standards of living and lifestyles. Amen. According to the Word of God. Amen. You have to e examine and, and investigate. Amen. The fruit of the ministry. Amen. Investigate and examine what is believed about Jesus. Come on, somebody. Because one thing about it is, amen, uh, uh, civic knowledge and declared athletes can talk, can talk about a great game. Amen. But that tells you nothing about their athletic abilities. Amen. And, 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 and it's a whole lot of people. Amen. Can talk a good game about being a Christian, amen. But it's a whole different thing, amen. Uh, 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 that they 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 tell you nothing about, amen. Their skills in in, in spirituality. They they tell you nothing about their skills and experiences that they've that they have learned from God. And and not everyone who who talks about heaven, amen, fits into God's kingdom. Heavenly Holy Ghost. Because Jesus is more un, is is more uneasy about our walk, Amen, Amen. Then I will talk, Amen. And the thing about it is, <clears throat> thing about it is, we can look good on the outside, Amen. But but we and, and we can we can say we want to say, Amen. But the bottom line is, Amen. God is going to judge us according to our hearts, Amen. Our hearts, and Jesus wants wants us to do. Uh, uh, properly, amen, he, he, and not just say the correct words, amen. But again, a pair of lips can say anything, amen, amen. Your house, uh, 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 uh your life, amen, will weather, will weather the storms of life only if you do not want, only if you, if you do what is true instead of just talking about it. Lord, hear me, Holy Ghost. Amen. 
Amen. It's not only it's not only that 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 what what we do cannot cannot be separated from what we believe. Amen. Let me say that again. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 your life will weather the storms of life if you do what is true instead of just talking about it. And not only that, what we do cannot be separated from what we believe. Amen. Uh, and look at verse seven. Verse seven. Amen. Uh, we find John John warning us that many deceivers have gone into the world. And, and we believe the believers need to know that several false prophets are seeking to deceive us today. Amen. Uh, 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 and the first, the first, uh, first, there is the, the false spirit of self. Amen. And, 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 and the thing about the false spirit of self is that we're living in an age where excesses, as, uh, excesses self-love is common. Amen. It's, it's just become one of those things. You know, everybody, everybody think that they're a bag of peanuts and all that. Amen. A bag of chips and all that. Amen. But, but self has been placed in the center of our lives and we have failed to give uh, uh, our lives uh, to Christ because of self. Every decision, every action, and every, every relationship is determined by how it pleases or satisfies, amen, satisfies satisfy self, amen. And according to this spirit, Lord, him and Lord goes, self-fulfillment self is to be our primary goal, amen. Uh, don't you see how, 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 how everybody running around trying to satisfy themselves, amen. But don't get me wrong. It, 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 it's, it's important to our to our esteem and to our self esteem, and we need to to uh, uh, recognize our worth and develop a healthy image. Lord, him and goes. Uh, uh, but the spirit that tells us that self self fulfillment is life life's most important goal, and that the universe revolves around us, is a false spirit. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And, and we have to understand that we don't, we, we cannot allow the devil to trick or deceive us. Uh, amen. Through unbelievers and through ourselves. Come on, somebody. Amen. Uh, uh, and another false spirit is, is, is uh, 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 of our day is sensuality. Lord, hear me all go. I know I've been about to step on some toes now. Because according to this spirit, pleasure is to be our primary goal in life. Lord, have middle goals. Uh, uh, this spirit urges us to grab for all the gusto we can get. Amen. And, 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 we, and we have accepted it to an alarming degree. Amen. Amen. Free sex and, 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 and unlimited and, a, and an unlimited commitment, commitment to to pleasure. Amen. Backed by, backed up by an outdated moral code. Amen. Making teenage sex a mess. And, 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 and they're messing up our, uh, uh, and therefore uh, it's messing up our teenagers. Hear me, Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, we have to understand this, this thing. Amen. And not only, not only uh, 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 in these areas of sensuality, amen, uh, uh, are we being deceived? We're also being deceived about who we are. Amen. Uh, uh, as a male and female, come on, somebody. I, I know I'm just going to step on some toes in here, but uh, but I stop by to tell you, Amen. Uh, 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 one of the other things that we have a problem with is 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 a false spirit of secularism. Amen. Uh, a false spirit. Amen. Of our day is secularism. And, and secular secular means uh, 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 means having to do with the material world over against the spirit world. Amen. And according to the spirit, the primary desire in life is not self, nor is it pleasure, but it's money. Lord, help me the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. But I stop by to tell you, 
Amen. Money can buy a prescription, but it can't buy health. Money can buy a man's work, but it can't buy his affection. Money can buy a degree on the wall, but it can't buy intelligence in the head. Money can buy associates, but it can't buy friends. Money can buy lust, but it can't buy love. Money can buy positions, but it can't buy peace. Money can buy therapy, but it can't buy time. Money can buy whole goats, but it can't buy the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Money can buy sleeping pills, but it can't buy sleep. Money can buy happiness, but it can't buy joy. Money can buy hair, but it can't buy hope. Money can buy a house, but money, but it can't buy a home. Money can buy clean clothes, but it can't buy a clean conscience. Money can buy a fraternity, but it can't buy a family. Money can buy a church building, but it can't buy a church. Money can buy a resting place, but it can't buy rest. And my brothers and sisters, this spirit has corrupt, has captured many today because gold has become our God. Cars have become our God. Furniture has become our God. Houses has become our God. Clothes have become our God. Chemicals have become our God. Fashions have become our God because we have been convinced and motivated to think that we have money and the things money can buy, we, we have everything needed for a full and significant, I mean, uh, a significant life. Amen. But I've learned and found out there are some things that money cannot buy. Amen. Amen. You don't believe me? Let, let me run it down to you. Amen. We need money to survive. Don't get me wrong. And it's nice to have the things that money can buy. But there are some things that money cannot do. And the spirit that implies, amen, items can satisfy and meet the spiritual desires in man's heart. And temporary assets can give man an eternal asset is a false spirit. So I start by to let you know this morning, don't let the devil trick you or deceive you. Amen. In 1 John chapter 1, chapter 4, amen, verses, verses 1 through 4, and 2 John verses 7 and 8, amen, amen. Uh, uh, let, 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 it, 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 just, it just, shows, just shows you, amen. Let, let's, let's go with 2 John. Uh, 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 seven, eight. Amen. And, and I'm going to give this to you from the trans word, trans, uh, the, the, uh, God's word translated of the translation of the Bible. It says, many who deceive others have gone into the world. They, de they refuse to declare that Jesus Christ came in flesh and blood. And the and the mark of a deceiver, and an ever and an antichrist. Be careful that you you don't destroy what we worked hard for, but but you, but that you receive your full reward. My brothers and sisters, a false spirit denies and re, and acknowledge. Let me see. Back back up. Uh, the, a false spirit denies and rejects the acknowledgement of Jesus Christ. And, and John wrote and told us to try the spirit where it, it is of God. Because Jesus is the exposure uh, and, and, and he discloses who God is by which we are to verify the authentic, authenticity of that of other revelations of who God is through Jesus Christ. Lord, have me Holy Ghost. Amen. 
Amen. Uh, let, let's go to Matthew chapter 16. Uh, so just because, so y'all, so y'all someone say Miller said, amen. You have something that you can, you can recall something you can go back to and verify uh, what you heard today. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 let's go and let's go to the King James version. Amen. And see what he says about that. Uh, He says, the verse 24, he says, then says Jesus to his disciples, whoever wants to be my disciple must de deny themselves and take up their cause and follow me. For whosoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me, we'll find it. Amen. 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 Let let let's look let's look at this. Look look at this. Uh, 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 and and that was that was the new international version. Amen. I thought that was the king the the God's word translation of the Bible. Amen. And it, it said like this. Amen. Jesus said unto his disciples, "This is God's word translation." Those who want to come with me must say no to the things they want. Pick up their crosses and follow me. Those who want to save their lives will lose them. But those who lose their lives for me will find them. My brothers and sisters, amen. The spirit of self is not right. Because the Bible says that if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. For whosoever will lose, will, will save his life, shall lose it. And whoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. Amen. Don't let the, the devil trick you or deceive you into believing anything else outside of what God has already said about being being a a, a a follower of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And, and Matthew chapter 5. Amen. Amen. Uh uh in the King James version it says you have heard that it was said by them of old time thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already. Amen. Amen. The God's word translation put it like this. You heard it was said, never commit adultery. But I guarantee you that whoever looks with lust at, at, at a woman has already committed adultery in his heart. Lord, hear me, Holy Ghost. So, and I want you to understand, this is the spirit of sensuality. And the spirit of sensuality is wrong. Amen. Because the Bible says right here, amen, in Matthew 27, 28, that you have heard it was said by them of old, thou shalt not commit adultery. So there shouldn't be a whole lot of sleeping around. There shouldn't be a whole lot of messing around. Amen. Uh, 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 uh. And, and, and we have to come to grips with understanding what God is telling us. Amen. Don't be tricked and don't be deceived. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 let by the devil. Come on, somebody. And finally, uh, I'm getting ready to go to my seat. I'm getting ready to close now. Amen. Because uh, this last thing I'm going to talk about, amen, is the spirit of secularism. Amen. And you can find it in the word of God. Lord, hear me, Holy Ghost. <clears throat> and it reads like this. Uh, in in, 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 in uh, Mark chapter 8, verse 36. Let me go on over there. And this is God's, God's word translation. It says, what, what good does it do? For people to win the world, yet lose their souls. And then the King James put it like this. 
what what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? My brothers and sisters, the spirit of secularism is wrong because uh, we can do everything that we want, all we need we want to gain this world. Amen. Uh, 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 but uh, to profit ourselves and, and gain and and gain uh, uh, the, the 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 public eye, to gain the popularity of this world. But we have to be concerned about what's going on with our soul. Amen. So I stop by to tell you, greater is He that is in you than he that is in the world. Don't let the devil trick you. Don't let the devil deceive you. Don't let him think that, that, that it's all about me, my, and I. It's all about Jesus Christ. He is our resurrection. He is our life. And he is our direction to God. God bless you today, and God keep you is our prayer. And I hope that you have benefited from this message delivered to you today to understand that we're not, we're not here to, to make anybody believe what believe, we believe. We're here to, to, to stress the facts of the word of God through the spirit of God that Jesus is real. And he is the son of God who died for each and every one of us. So give your life to Christ. Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you for this message. We thank you for those that have listened, those who hear, those who take heed. Lord, we ask you to strengthen. We ask you to give understanding of all that was given today. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you today, and God keep you. And we're going to come back on Thursday night, amen, talking to you to talk about, amen, uh, Satan's eight tools of destruction through through forgiveness, amen, and, and, and offense, amen. We begin that serious teach serious teaching on Thursday night. So join us this week, this Thursday, Amen. At six thirty p.m., we can begin this series, Amen. Uh, uh, for another fun, fun field pack, uh, uh, lesson of information given to us by the Spirit of God through the Word of God for the people of God. God bless you. God keep you. Is our prayer. We love you. And there and, and ain't nothing you can do about it. God bless you. God keep you. Goodbye.